Hey guys, it's Mikey's Mind. I want to take a few moments today to discuss a bit of middle grade uh, fiction. I'd say this book would be suitable for anyone sort of age 9 or 10 plus. Um, I found it in the library and what I tend to do in the library is pick out a, a range of books. I'll get a couple of horrors, a classic and generally a children's book. And yeah, this one, I really liked it. And it's The Garden of Lost Secrets by A.M. Howell. Um, really nice cover. Um, I've seen lots like this last year and um, yeah, really, really like this one. It's It hooked me in for many reasons. Um, secrets gardens it made me think of the secret garden and um it's if you like the secret garden you won't be disappointed it's it's i suppose a sort of there are links there time era young female protagonist in a stately home um there are links and, and i think you'll enjoy them it's not a retelling it's not a sister of, of any of any sort of sort it's it's its own book but um yeah some nice familiarity i would say and I've never read A.M. Howell before, um, but this book is, is, is really, really nice. Um, set in World War One, young Clara is, is sent, to, uh, I guess she's evacuated, she's sent to live with her aunt and uncle. So it says, October 1916, Clara has been sent to stay with her aunt and uncle while England is at war. But when she reaches their cottage on an enormous country estate, Clara is plunged into a tangle of secrets. A dark locked room, a scheming thief, and a mysterious boy who only appears at night. Clara has a secret of her own too, a terrible one about her brother fighting in the war. And as the secrets turn to danger, Clara must find the courage to save herself and those around her. Secrets, mystery and bravery meet in this gripping historical adventure. And I think the um, what really, really, what this book's really got going for it, I think from, from a young reader's perspective, we've got a young protagonist in detective mode questions that need answers um this layout of this home this map these gardens we've got i mean the, the the setting the actual floor plan the map of this country estate is brilliantly sort of realized um and we've got sort of allotments and hot houses greenhouses um these these gardens and, and patches and it's it feels really realized it feels like the, the author's taken great time and care to map out this space think about who's where and why think about who might go where and why and, and really play with with moving these characters around this map at different times and i think kids will love that i think sneaking out at night a locked room secrets mysterious people sort of you know you catch a, a figure in the garden you look down out your window you see someone in the moonlight um theft and mystery and the very real threat of war in the background um air raids for example so yeah a fantastic fantastic read had a, a lot of fun reading it at the end of last year and um it's not a book i'd necessarily go and buy and add to my collection but like i say in the library i quite enjoy just picking them off the shelf and and, and you know getting through them in a day or two and then recommending them to, to young readers i know really really um like i say gorgeous description and quite original as well um a lot of the reviews that I read online and, and sort of the discussion around it talk about pineapples and that will confuse anyone who's not read it and, and make anyone who has read it laugh. It's one of those sort of inside jokes, but pineapples feature quite importantly in the book. And um, yeah, it's just original, unusual little moments and, and things like that, I think, make these kinds of reads memorable, along with the characters themselves. You know, Clara is quite a formidable young girl and... Um, I think she backs herself but i think she can never truly uh i don't think she can ever accurately or fairly estimate what she's up against um until she's been through it i don't think she's particularly naive um i don't think she particularly underestimates or overestimates what's around her but she rises to these challenges um and even though she, even when she's not always fully equipped to do so so yeah um the garden of lost secrets a really fun um entertaining world war one sort of historical adventure all right guys thanks so much for checking out this video i will see you soon take care